Good morning, GMS. I'm Maya Lindsay Luther. And I'm Gavin Allen. And welcome to GM the GMS News Show for the week of November 9th. The 2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. Mr. Dean wouldn't have the sixth grade picture if he didn't buy his yearbook. Attention students, please remember to charge your computer every day once you get home and make sure to put it in your backpack every morning. You need your computer for school. Greenwood School, Greenwood school will ha start hi a hybrid learning schedule beginning today in the middle school and high schools. Students with the last name starting with A through L will attend on Monday and Tuesday. Students will with the last last name starting with M to Z will attend in person on Thursday and Friday. There will be no school on Wednesdays as each teacher will have an hour designated to answer questions and meet with students as needed. On the days you are not attending in person, you are expect, expected to be e-learning at home. Good luck, GMS students, as school will be look a little different for a while. If your family is in need of Thanksgiving or Christmas assistance, email or call the middle school advisor, Ms. McGuire. Remember, if you're out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all of your assignments on Canvas. You can also email your teacher with specific questions. Finally, make sure your face mask covers your mouth and nose. This includes in the hallways, in the classroom, and even the bathroom. Also, make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you go to any sporting events. Now let's go to the inter interview of the week, top trending in the GMS Sports Update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I'm Lily Williams here with eighth grade PE teacher, Mr. New. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Lily. I'm thrilled to be here, super excited, super pumped. <laughs> okay, for the first question, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? A little bit about myself. Well, I'm 5'11", uh, 180 pounds, green eyes, brown hair. I enjoy long walks on the beach and uh, snuggling with Mrs. New, my dad, and watching Christmas movies. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. I'm really 185 pounds. I don't know why I lie about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay. Why did you choose to teach eighth grade PE? Why did I choose to teach eighth grade? Well, I don't really feel like I chose it. I feel like they chose me uh, for a lot of different reasons. One, we have similar maturity levels. Um, like a lot of eighth graders, I'm really smart, creative, and useful when I'm motivated, but I can also be super lazy when I'm not. And uh, I also think farts and fart jokes are funny. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> What is it like working with your wife and her sister? I knew there'd be a zinger. I knew there'd be a zinger in there. Um, what's it like working with my wife and my sister-in-law? Well, I'm gonna. When I walk into this building every day, I'm gonna equate the feeling I get to somewhere between the feeling I get when I go to Disney World and going to the dentist to get a root canal. <laughs> somewhere in the middle, there, somewhere between that. Okay. <laughs> What is your favorite TV show and why? Favorite TV show? Well, that's a pretty easy question uh, in terms of narrowing it down to two. I really like The Office and I really like Parks and Rec because they're both, they make me laugh <laughs> because I like the, uh, the dry, sarcastic, borderline uncomfortable, uh, inappropriate humor, as you might be able to tell from, from this interview already. So I, I like the uncomfortable humor part of that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you could change one thing about GMS, what would you change? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, it certainly wouldn't be anything that's appropriate for this news channel. Um, but no, this is, a, this is a great place to be. It's a great place to learn, a great place for you guys. Uh, it's certainly a heck of a lot cleaner uh, than, than the old place. We left 99% of the cockroaches there, um, so I don't have cockroaches in my office anymore. But I was thinking the other day, uh, a cool idea, and I can't believe nobody's thought of this before, uh, but if somebody were to have food trucks come in for lunch for teachers every once in a while, I think that'd be a cool idea. So that, 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 that's, that's one thing that uh, I think we could add, we could change. 
Okay. <laughs> that seems like a cool idea. Yeah. Take the most out of it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on to our show today, Mr. New. Have a great week. Hey, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Gavin Arnold, and let's get started with number three. A football-playing moose decided to show off its skills on a football field in Homer, Alaska. And no, it's not that football. This moose plays soccer. The wild moose wandered out on a football field, found a soccer ball, and knocked it around for a few minutes before propelling the ball towards the goal. Some soccer fans have named the moose Lionel Moosey, after the legendary soccer star. Number two, with the impact of the pandemic continuing to spread far and wide, people around the world are waiting for news on a possible treatment for the virus. There's a good news on that front, as a 14 year old girl from Texas has discovered a molecule that can sec selectively bind to the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2. Binding and inhabiting this viral protein would potentially stop the virus entering into the cell, creating a viable drug target. For her breakthrough, 8th grader Annika Shebrolu has named the winner of the 2023 3M Youngest Scientist Challenge, America's premier middle school of the science competition. Number one, after months of speculation, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X released this week. Though Sony's marketing strategy has been to drip freed information, we've now seen the PS5 design, including a full teardown video and look at the new user interface. We also know the new games coming out on and one top trending game is the new Spider's Miles Morales. The controller also has a haptic feedback that allows you to feel what you see on the screen. The Xbox Series X features a more pow powerful console that features hundreds of games available day one on Game Pass and allows you to unchange. Microsoft even sent Snoop Dogg and iJustine an Ox Xbox Series X shaped refrigerator as a part of their marketing tactics. Were you able to pre-order a PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X? Which system do you prefer? That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, everybody. Do you have a talent you want to share with the school? Maybe you could be next on the GMS News Show. I'm Drew Norton with GMS Sports. November 10th, 6th grade girls basketball at county tournament starting at 5 o'clock. 7th grade A team versus John Woodman Middle School starting at 5.30. November 12th, 6th grade girls basketball at county tournament starting at 5 o'clock. That's it for GMS Sports.